Decoding Buddhism. After Gautama Buddha had reached enlightenment, he realized that life is fleeting, ever-changing, and impermanent. Thus he described it in the Four Noble Truths, that all life is suffering, not in the sense of all being pain, but in that sense that everything is constantly changing, and this causes us unsatisfactoriness. Just like the clouds that fleet on by, nothing lasts. This world is therefore an illusion, not one to cling to. But we have become attached, attached to this world through the skandhas, through our body, through our mind, through our emotions, and through the sensations of the five senses. And so, let us now meditate upon that which we are not. Buddha called it anatta or anatman, that which the self is not. Anatta Chitta Meditation This body I wear with the five sense organs this body most certainly must be me, as I identify with it so much and with the physical world I see as my reality. But no, this body and these sense organs are anatta. They are not the self, not myself. However, my thoughts and my perceptions must be my very own because I think, therefore I am. I must be this intellect, all that my mind perceives and my reasoning mind, right? And that part of me that keeps me on the path by constantly self-correcting, being a good student of the masters and a good person, am I not that? Now I step outside of my thoughts and perceptions observing them as they enter my consciousness. I see how they get labeled. For example, my ear is itching. I smell good tasting food. I hear Vivaldi on the radio. I feel happy or lonely, etc. I stop myself from labeling and cataloging them and just let go. I observe my thoughts like a stranger watching them as clouds floating by. This consciousness is part of the body, part of my senses, and enmeshed with them so strongly that I think I am them. But I am not these thoughts. They are anatta. These thoughts and perceptions are not my real self. Okay then, how about my feelings, my desires, my longings, don't they help me experience this world? They make me who I am, unique and special. I observe how they grab hold of me and move me to act. I also notice how they change all the time, an endless stream of new sensations. What I wanted yesteryear or 20 minutes ago, I no longer desire an endless stream of wishes that never arrive at satisfaction. They appear strong, but are fleeting like my thoughts. I am not them. They come and they go, but they are also anatta. My desires are not my true self. This persona, my ego of uniqueness, this, I am sure, is me. 
I have developed it, so it must be real, right? And my memories are most certainly mine. I own them. They are my special memories of the life I lived and the life I will live. But what if I should forget them? Do I then not exist? Not even this is what I am, as I am an individual soul, the citta mind, of the indwelling presence of God, with many incarnations and personalities for a purpose. I see now they are not my real self, they are anatta, yet I understand that my soul can become one with God. I see now that my sense organs and body, the skandhas, are only processing vehicles the soul uses to navigate this world. My skandhas, even though they are temporary, allow God's life force to enter and act through them, through me, and they help me to serve and gain good karmas while I'll figure out my reason for being. Buddha said, this material universe is an illusion. Yet beyond the veil of the material universe, beyond the body, my senses and experiences, there is a spiritual and ultimate reality outside of time and space that I can reach. It's called Brahman. I can become one with Brahman through my Atman, which is my spirit, my I am presence, my God Self. Today I am freeing myself just a little bit more from being attached to my body, to my thoughts and feelings, and to my personality. I now realize I am a soul that can survive death through reincarnation until I achieve immortality. My goal this day is to perfect my soul just a little more and balance my karma while I'm at it. In this moment, I will be mindful of the four Brahma Viharas, the sublime attitudes. Today, I am loving kindness of goodwill, and I extend my love towards myself and all others. Today, I am compassion of empathic love for others. I understand the suffering of the world and I extend my compassionate heart and service to those who suffer. Today, I am empathetic joy. I unselfishly rejoice when others experience success, happiness, abundance and all good things. I feel joy because others are happy even if I did not contribute to it. Today, I am equanimity of inner peace and even-minded serenity. I am not moved by outer circumstances and I treat everyone impartially and every circumstance and event with non-attachment and balance. By practicing the four Brahma Viharas, I allow myself to attain the awakened mind, the bodhicitta, that equals living with Brahman in the here and now. As I become the observer of my thoughts, observer of my feelings and all sensations, in that moment I have stepped outside of them. I see them, but I don't identify with them. In this moment I am the buddhic observer this awareness sees without being tied to the processes. The processes are anatta, while I still exist as awareness, as Buddha consciousness. From this awareness I free myself from grasping, desires good and bad all grasp, always wanting more, always wanting something, yet I don't live for pain or pleasure. I live instead to see God emerging in everything and in everyone. God and the soul together endure the suffering of this world until the end of all karmas. I help 
in ending karma-making patterns in myself and in others while balancing up the past with a violet flame. I now visualize instead my chitta, my heart, mind, soul, achieving bodhicitta, the awakened mind. I am awake to reality. I am awake to life. I allow my Buddha nature to emerge like the lotus blossom unfolding. By purifying the citta from erroneous concepts and states of mind and heart, as well as karma, I become more and more my true nature. I now let my inner buddhic awareness go into the center of my heart, into the Leia center, and I visualize a small luminous white orb in my heart chakra. I can see my citta rise to my Buddha self and then to my I am presence, the God self. In this place, I find all the answers to all the riddles of my life. And I can come here anytime I want. My awareness is now my key to transcending life. In raising my citta, I can achieve bodhi. In lowering my citta, I find the ego of the carnal mind, the self that I am not. It is always my choice. And so I embrace this understanding with an open heart as I live day by day with choice. Now I slowly return to my body, becoming aware of my surroundings, and I open my eyes, and I am back. Namaste.